Hello and welcome to another walkthrough for Django for Everybody. Today I'm going to actually sort of fast forward a little bit into the future and show, talk a little bit about how the auto grader works. So I'm going to go about to the middle of the course and show you an application that you're going to be working on called the Auto's CRUD application. And Auto's CRUD is kind of our destination. Uh, the idea is that it's got to create, update, and delete. Um, and it talks about login, et cetera, et cetera. And so I'll, I'll take a look at the assignment for this. And, and it tells you how to log into this. You're going to have to make your own account. Um, and this is your assignment. And there's a lot to this assignment. I want to point out to you that one of the things that we always encourage you to do before you submit to the auto grader is to do your own testing. OK? And so. So let's just do some testing here. Let's run this program, the implementation. I'm gonna, it's gonna log in, add a make, add an auto, view the makes. All right, so I'm gonna log in, um, DJ4E CRUD, and there's a password there. And so uh, we'll go to the autos one. Uh, let's add a make. So we're gonna do a dodge. Let's add the make. So we're kind of running through this manual test. Then add an auto selecting the make. Add an auto on one. One, two, three, four. Some comments. Pick the make dodge. And, and this is code. It, it, it can break, right? You know, view the makes. Update the make and press cancel. Update the make and press cancel. It, it should go back to the list. So what I've given you on a lot of these more complex assignments is a is an outline of things that you should test, right? Um, and then if you if you update this and you uh, oh I'm gonna update the makes I gotta view the makes I gotta update the make I'm gonna I'm gonna say dodge exclamation point and submit it and you'll notice that this changed automatically because of third normal form and all that stuff and so all you, you know you're supposed to write this code and then submit this to the auto grader so the way the auto grader works is you're going to submit it so you're gonna get your homework all done and you're gonna test it and then you are going to submit it to the auto grader and then and and you'll say evaluate now one thing you'll notice is this takes a little while and that's because this is doing a whole bunch of request response cycles so let me just show you well i mean and if it's good it tells you i like what you i like this i like this i like this i like that i like that and then you know it, it figures out your score and you can see the pages that it's actually retrieving by looking at this show hide retrieve page. So let me just kind of show you a little picture of what's going on. So normally you're sitting here and you've got your browser and you're using Python anywhere and you're writing code and you're testing code, right? You're testing the code in the browser just like I was doing here. That's I'm just me and my browser and I'm doing stuff and I'm working in Python anywhere, right? And so um, let's go ahead and make a console in Python anywhere, and I'll say work on Django 3, because I always say that. Oops, work on Django 3, uh, and I'm going to go into CD Django Projects, uh, CD CRUD, and so here's my code for CRUD, right? That's that's the code that I've got for CRUD. You might be doing this with your, uh, you know, full screen editor. But I am basically at this point, I am working up here where I'm in my browser and I'm working on Python Anywhere and I'm making changes and I'm testing those changes in another tab, right? So the code that I'm running, right, is running right here. So let me just make a little mistake here. Um, autos urls.py and um, let's just break both the update and the delete. I'm commenting these paths out. And then I'm going to go to my web tab. Oops. Click web, open a new tab, and I got to reload. So I'm going to reload crud. I'm going to reload crud. So I, may, I messed up my, just messed my code up, right? So you can see, so the code is mostly working, right? But when I click the up, update, like add a make, it's going to work, right? I can make a forward. That part's working. But as soon as I hit this update button, oh, wait, what happened? 
Uh, no. Oh. Oh, no, it's the makes that I broke. Sorry. I broke the makes. Now, when I update this one, it's going to blow up. Okay, so <laughs> I almost didn't. I, I meant to break it. So what will happen here is I'm breaking it. I'm, I'm talking up here to the system. If I go and I run this in the auto grader now, this djfree.com is going to make requests to Python Anywhere and get answers back. And sometimes it likes the pages that it gets and sometimes it doesn't. The safest thing to do is test it by hand. But now if I go back to the auto grader, I mean, I, I, I saw this error and what I should do is fix the error. But now I'm going to go to the auto grader and I'm going to rerun the auto grader. And again, this takes a while. And the longer these auto, the more steps the auto grader is taking, the longer it's going to take. Sometimes it'll take about 20 seconds. So I think it's done. So now we can see it's doing good. It, it logged in. It added a make. It's deleting makes. It's doing something. And oh, look. Here we go. Page may have errors. HTTP status 404. Did not find a form with a submit button. Now, you could just call your, your teaching assistant or me and say, what's wrong? Or you can click this button called show and hide retrieve page. And now it's saying, look, I, the auto grader is looking at this page. This is the exact URL that it's looking at. You can even click and you can open that URL. You'll see it's exactly this URL, right? And so what you need to do is then you need to fix your application, right? Fix your application, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to undo, let's come back, undo, undo, save that. And then I'm going to reload my application because I'm not going to fix it. Takes a moment. So now that I put those routes back in, this update will work. Right now that code works. And if I run the auto grader, because I got this thing to rerun the same test, you can you can uh, redo it. So then it's running the test, running the test, running the test. And now it's done. So now it made it past. It's all green, it's all green, it's all green, and we got a we got a good score. So the key thing is to get used to this idea that you should test your code, run through all the scenarios. When you run the auto grader, it will take some time because it's actually doing all of the things. It's pretending to be a browser. djfree.com is pretending to be a browser in order to test your URL. And then at some point, if it has made it through all the tests it wants to do, then it sends the grade to the appropriate grade book inside the learning management system. But the key thing is, is to get used to the idea that scroll to the bottom, look for what went wrong, and then see what it was that it was seeing. This particular one is working, and you can, you can see it. It's um, and the auto grader is not trying to trick you, and it's not trying to mislead you. The auto grader is, is, as best I can do it, telling you everything it's doing, everything it's looking for, and when, when it can't find something, it shows you the page that it was looking at, and that page wasn't right. Okay? So um, you'll get used to the auto grader. Um, it's a good helper and a good friend. Uh, make sure to look for the manual testing section in your assignments and do the manual tests. Uh, it will save you a lot of time and it's just easier to fix your application by running your application yourself and then making changes to your application and then reloading your application and, uh, and away you go. So I hope this little uh, summary of how the autograder works has been useful to you. Cheers.